Hi, I'm Dr. Khuram Shokat Yusufzai, Hyperbaric Medical Consultant. Today's video is about the diseases treated by hyperbaric medicine. I have taken these diseases from the textbook of hyperbaric medicine, which is the gold standard. Now, currently, sixth edition is in practice and used by the hyperbaric medical consultants all over the world. These diseases have been chosen because researches have taken place on them on the medical universities all around the world. So after the millions of researches, certain diseases have been picked up and included in the textbook of hyperbaric medicine. The textbook of hyperbaric medicine gives the guideline about these diseases and I have included them all of them one by one which I found in the textbook and then divided them according to the speciality so that it's easy for the consultants of different speciality to look at them. So I hope you enjoy the video. So let's go. Diseases treated by hyperbaric medicine. So, hyperbaric medicine has evolved a long way. It has been practiced for 150 years and it has taken 500 years to develop. And now, currently, it is well equipped to treat a lot of diseases. So, in this video, I'm going to tell you about what diseases it treats and this video is a proud presentation by the KSY BIZ Hyperbarics, which is a consultancy for hyperbaric medicine founded by Dr. Khurram Shokat Yousafzai. And in this video, we are going to inform you about the diseases divided according to the speciality and these categories would be described one by one the division of uh, diseases according to speciality would enable the different specialist to look at the list and they can choose the diseases they have and refer them to the hyperbaric medical specialist. As you can see that I have divided them into 14 categories. The first one being emergencies and the rest as you can see are divided according to the speciality uh, they are representing. And this is an easier way to recognize uh, what it can treat and this will make the video a bit interesting. The Food and Drug Administration of the USA, USA which is a private institution funded by the uh, money from the drug companies uh, looks at the hyperbaric diseases as well although hyperbaric medicine is not a specialty which treats by drugs but the oxygen is used in this but still the FDA divides them into on and off label the on label are basically emergencies which are paid and the off label are the rest of the diseases which are not paid by the medical insurance companies in the continent of the Americas that is United States of America in North America as you can see, the uh, continent-wise distribution of the uh, diseases that uh, in the North America, only 14 to 17 diseases are being selected, while in Europe, the selection is wider and the SPUMS, which is South Pacific Undersea Medical Society, it has uh, the same diseases as being treated in Europe. 
and Asia has the highest amount of diseases that are treated by hyperbaric and also paid by the medical insurance companies. In the first category of emergencies which are on label and these are being paid by the medical insurance companies in the United States of America, North American region. You can see the listing that how many diseases are being covered starting from the decompression sickness uh, which a diver experiences when they do diving then are poisonings, asphyxiation, drowning and things like that. In the second category which is related with the medicine speciality there are a couple of diseases related to the medical specialization starting from life-threatening conditions like gas gangrene, necrotizing fasciitis, refractive mycosis, hepatitis, intracranial abscess, gastric ulcer, necrotizing, enterocolitis, paralytic alias, and nematitis, cystitis intestinalis. So these diseases are off-label that the person would pay from their own pocket. Similar is the case uh, of surgical diseases. The surgical and orthopedic diseases like the non-union of fractures, bone grafts, treatment of burns, skin grafts, osteomyelitis, infection which is infection of the bone, diabetic wounds, foot ulcers and wound healing and the ulcers in the elderly because they are bedridden and they can form bed sores and a lot of conditions. The geriatric medicine is also included in this category. The fourth category is the cosmetic and plastic surgery. So very common is the plastic surgery like post-operative uh, uh, plastic surgery uh, candidates undergo hyperbaric medicine treatment and it prevents keloids and the healing is 300% quicker. Uh, similar is in the case of hair transplant and uh, since the results of the cosmetic surgeon improves so it is very popular to use hyperbaric medicine by the plastic surgery doctors all around the world. ENT, which is ear, nose, and throat. The listing includes very interesting sudden deafness and tinnitus, which are practically untreatable by the ENT themselves. So they look at hyperbaric medicine for the help. And there is uh, acute acoustic trauma after gunshot wounds or loud music, like which happens to the sing singers labyrinthitis which is infection of the internal ear or Minri's disease, malignant otitis externa which are not treatable with the antibiotics because they have become resistant. So hyperbaric medicine comes to the rescue. Ophthalmology, the eye specialist uh, looks at hyperbaric medicine for central artery occlusion and diabetic retinopathy and sudden blindness. This, these diseases uh, happen and the eye specialist does not have a lot of tools to heal them. So they look at hyperbaric medicine for healing and of course they are off-label. Meaning that the patient would pay from their own pocket. The high cost of hyperbaric medicine is uh, because of the hyperbaric chambers. I will talk about it. In obstetrics and gynae, complicated pregnancy, which are related to diabetes and eclampsia, heart disease, placental hypoxia or the fetal hypoxia, and conge congenital disease of the neonate. So these conditions can result in the death of the uh, small baby or the mother. So hyperbaric medicine comes to the rescue, although in the past, Pregnancy was considered as a, a, a sort of a contraindication for hyperbaric medicine, but now it is being used for uh, 
obstetrics and gynae more and more. Dental surgery, they are using it for dental implants, head and neck surgeries and the surgeries of the gum and the teeth. Because of the lack of good blood supply, they are not uh, prone to healing. So they would use uh, hyperbaric medicine to uh, help in their post-operative healing and because of the hyperbaric medicine a lot of uh, difficult and complicated surgeries have been accomplished and it is very common now for the dental surgeons to have uh, hyperbaric chambers in their hospitals and clinics. Neurological medicine is pretty interesting because it was thought that nerves don't heal but the hyperbaric medicine has uh, disproven this myth and now a lot of uh, neuro neuropathies are being cured by hyperbaric medicine like uh, traumatic brain injury, multiple sclerosis, migraines, cerebral edema, multi-infarct dementia, spinal cord injury and peripheral neuropathies and radiation myelitis and vegetative coma and a lot of patients in coma have improved uh, with hyperbaric medicine. In the field of the children, pediatric medicine, hyperbaric medicine is increasingly being used in autism and uh, cerebral palsy as well as ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorders or it is called ASD, autism spectrum disorders. So this is pretty interesting and uh, in the next videos I will discuss them one by one because the how much hyperbaric will help them varies according to the disease and the best way to know about it is to consult your hyperbaric medical consultant. Hematology and immune medicine related to the immunity. So blood loss is pretty interesting because if you drain the whole body from the 5 liters blood it carries still the person would survive in the hyperbaric chamber and that was demonstrated in the 1950s, 60s and even before. So gangrenes and ischemic leg pain and organ transplant rejection control and as simple as sickle cell crisis are being controlled uh, by the hyperbaric medicine in the field of hematology and immune medicine related to the blood. Cancer. Cancer is now getting more and more common. So the radio sensitivity of the malignant tumor uh, leads to radiotherapy and chemotherapy. So the effects of these are reduced by hyperbaric medicine as well as by increasing the immunity. Sometimes the activity of the cancer cells are also reported to be reduced because the immune system kicks up and eats up the malignant cell as happening in the normal human body. So if you enhance it by hyperbaric therapy, the, if the cancers do reduce. Dermatology and aesthetic medicine, anti-aging, skin tightening, acne infections, vitality and enhanced health, leprosy, scleroderma, psoriasis, purpura fulminans, necrobiosis, lipodica, diabetic, like related to diabetes in simple terms. All these uh, skin diseases which are difficult to heal, the hyperbaric medicine helped in the healing and they have controlled a lot of these diseases and interestingly um, the, the dermatologists use it. Most interesting uh, is the last category related to the sports medicine. Increasing number of athletes are using hyperbaric medicine for their reduction of lactic acid and fatigue because they are in competitive sport and the 300% quicker healing promises the the outside uh, benchers to return to their game because they are paid even if they sit on the benches outside. And the increased stamina and vitality have uh, enabled a lot of people to increase their health and win a lot of uh, uh, prizes because it's highly competitive sports. 
as you can see my picture with a football player uh, I treated uh, Mr. Majewski who is a Polish football uh, celebrity and uh, post match and before match the treatment of uh, hyperbaric uh, medicine is essential so a lot and lot of uh, highly competitive football clubs athletic clubs uh, basketball clubs in the North America are using hyperbaric medicine and this is one of the uh, secret weapon for healing and apart from celebrities even in the veterinary field uh, hyperbaric medicine is curing the competitive uh, horses and camels as well so some some countries also put hyperbaric medicine as part of the training to enhance the abilities of their athletes and this has resulted in very interesting uh, new dimension to hyperbaric medicine and i have designed a couple of hyperbaric chambers uh, based on this uh, new field and if anybody is interested in uh, using hyperbaric medicine to enhance their competitive advantage in this highly competitive world they can contact me so in conclusion i would say that hyperbaric medicine is now a new speciality just like surgery or medicine and it has treating a variety of diseases uh, which are more than 300 in conclusion i would like to say that uh, hyperbaric medicine has become a completely new speciality of medicine and the textbook of hyperbaric medicine is the gold standard and uh, the list of diseases is increasing every day one by one so i thank you for listening and uh, if you want to contact me uh, here are my details for any consultancy related to hyperbaric medicine and i would glad to help you in your business endeavors I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, I would like you to subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.